Paul. Oh! Oh! I've been shooting for a while. <laughs> no, I st I I've always shot around my house and stuff, and maybe three or four years back, I went with a couple friends of mine and started shooting at a club up in Muskegon. And doing that every year since then, but once I graduated from high school, that club just goes through high school, so I'm done with that for now. I gotta see, I don't know what's coming next. But. Oh! There you go, Eve. Now turn back like you're a legend. <laughs> I'm in engineering at Kelvin right now, and I don't have a minute lately. But during the summer, I like to go four-wheeling up at Silver Lake and do other outdoor activities. Tell us about the high school club thing. It's actually through a club, a shooting club, not actually through the high schools. So. Oh, but it's one of But it's for high schoolers? Yeah. yeah. Right. What's it called? Scholastic Clay Target Program. Yeah, and we shoot through Seaway Gun Club. Well, here we were just shooting in the field. What's it like at your actual trap shootings? All right, well, here, out here we were just shooting, you know, right in the field, but normally we're at gun clubs, and what it is, is it's one trap house, and there's five stations around it, and there's a machine in the trap house that oscillates back and forth, and whenever you say pull, it lets one out, so you don't know exactly where it's going to come out. You shoot five at each station for a total of 25, so a perfect score is 25, and then at the state tournaments, there's four rounds, so you shoot 100, and at the national tournaments, there is... Um, at the, the main state one and the national ones, there's 200, so eight rounds. The grand is the shoot, the big shoot at the end of the year. It goes on for uh, two or three weeks, yeah. and it's basically, it's 120 trap houses in a row that always have people shooting on them. Yeah, so, they stretch for three and a half miles. Yeah. Oh! Dude, what was that thing you went to during football? Was that the national thing? Yeah. Because yeah. of that. What'd you place? What did we place? Um, I think there were 50 teams and we got... 19th maybe? Yeah, it was somewhere in the teens. Yeah. Not too bad for the whole nation. No, we got third or fourth in the state and we could go to the Nationals and first year it was in Vandalia, Ohio. And the second year it was in Sparta, Illinois. And that's where it'll be for a long time because they got a real nice facility there now. So. When they had it at Minnelio, Ohio, you could get in if you were the top five teams in the state at the at your state shoot. And now, since they got a bigger facility in Sparta, Illinois, anyone can go. Myself, I got 190 out of 200 that day, and another the other kids on our team they averaged probably in the 180s somewhere. At the state shoot, I got. I got two rounds in a row, perfect, so that's 50 straight. And you got that last year, I think? Yeah. Most people use 12 gauge, um, and they range from a few hundred bucks to tens of thousands of dollars for some of the crazy people. And it's not really the price of the gun that matters, it's uh, what you're used to and what you can shoot, what you have been shooting. That's what you usually do best on. Like if you have a $800 gun that you're used to, and then you switch to a $10,000 gun, you're going to shoot worse because it's a change. So anybody can do the sport. You don't have to be rich to do it. Oh. Oh. I thought you were going to throw it with the, your hand. I did. Oh. <laughs> 